I've got a bad feeling about this. feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've noticed that the Ploggles are acting stranger than usual, so I did some research. Tell me, are you familiar with the legend of the Golden Giganora? It's an old Ploggle myth. It's not terribly well known. It is said that long ago, Ploggles were everywhere and ruled these lands alone. But all that changed when humankind showed up. Right, so the Ploggles went to their god, the Golden Giganora, and asked him to defeat the humans. The Golden Giganora agreed and cast a spell on the Ploggles. Well, it turned them into humans! Ha <laughs> ha! He figured the only thing that could defeat a person was another person. The Ploggles didn't like this solution very much, and the Golden Giganora was sealed away. But it seems these new Ploggles are trying to bring him back. If the Golden Giganora is truly among us, you must destroy it. There's no telling how powerful he's become in the years since his imprisonment. He may actually be able to take over the world. I don't like this new development at all. The Ploggles are up to something. Something big. They've summoned several large creatures and positioned them strategically around the lake. Three monsters the locals have dubbed Toxicarp, Glacierback, and Thunder Dragon. These beasts need to be taken down before the Ploggles can utilize them for some undoubtedly foul purpose. Please, rid the lake of all three. The fate of rural outfitters, no. The entire Silver Frost Mountains could be at stake here. Oh good. A warrior. I assume you're here to handle the Plagle situation? What situation? The Plague Sanctum situation. Look around here. What do you see? Yes, lots of Plagles. More and more every season. It used to be we could come down here to wash our fabrics in peace. But now the Ploggles have taken over the entire lake. And worse than that, they've grown quite hostile. They attack villagers without warning. They've even started making incursions into our fabric storage buildings. I'm not a warrior. I'm a weaver. We just want to be left to create our clothes in peace. Is that so much to ask? Please, stop the Ploggle incursion any way you can. We don't have much, but we can pay you for your efforts. Stop the Ploggles. I've been working so hard out here. Making these tricolor pellets is grueling. Oh, did you bring me more rainbow plants? Great. Now I have to make more tricolor pellets. And I was gonna write a sonnet. Ha, huh, no. That's just what Han Young tells everyone so he can drive up the price. I just take these weeds to a mill and grind them up. It's really hard work, and it's so hot here. But at least he pays me, and the frogs are good company.
Warrior, over here, please. You look like a real fighter, unlike my husband. He went off on a hunting trip and left me here to manage all this blue dye. Have you seen him? His name's Lo Yang. He's a dyer. He's no warrior, and he'll get himself killed out there. He's probably in the Beast Bog. He and a motley crew calling themselves the Brigand Eradicators vowed revenge after those filthy Zaraxi shot up the place and ate our expensive silks. He went to the Zaraxi base out in the Beast Bog. Meanwhile, all of us at the Rural Outfitters are practically defenseless against the Horde outside. I need to manage the stock here so I can't go out. If you see him in the Beast Bog, will you please tell him to come home? Be firm with him. He makes a lot of excuses. You make sure he comes home right away. Han Young? Were you able to get the pellets from Han Young? Very good. I will get these to our doctors at once. What did he ask for them? Oh, never mind. I shouldn't ask such things. But you haggled with them, right? Never mind. Don't worry. The lives of the villagers are my first priority. You've done us a great service. And I have some information for you. I saw Yu Chun run into his office waving an official report around. You should listen in or get the report. Quickly, warrior, before it's too late. He's running out of places to hide. Huh? What do you want? When we finish interrogating Mound San, you'll be the first to know. I don't have anything concrete, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I need evidence. I'm under orders from the Emperor himself not to divulge information that could compromise our efforts to capture Yunsang. You tend to follow those kinds of orders, or wind up with an iron ball around your ankle. I think we're done here. Once Yunsang is in custody, we'll grab a beer. Hell, we'll grab the entire barrel. Let's go! You have acquired a new quest item. We've cited the subject. Meet Dosun at the forward base camp. Huh? Who are you? I'm sorry, I don't have time for you. I'm meeting someone important. I believe you are mistaken. I've never seen you before in my life. What? This is vital intelligence on a project that he is responsible for, and he sends some lackey to do his job? Well, uh, neither do I, but how do I know you're not from the Lumang Syndicate? What if you're in the Skyhaven Resistance?
have you done what I asked? You must truly be a highly skilled warrior, and most certainly one of Yu Chun's assistants. I sent a letter to Yu Chun because I had heard rumors of Yun Sang's sightings all over the Sky Petal Plains. He's been seen at the Lumang Stronghold, the Lumang Den, the Soulstone Plains, the Plog Sanctum, and the secret criminal hideout the Hao call Just a Cave. I bet they think they're very funny thinking that one up. Yes, the Hao think they're very clever. It's their secret site where they meet to gamble and carouse. It's not a well-kept secret, and I doubt he would be there. Oh, I would start at the Lumang Stronghold and Lumang Den. That makes the most sense. I mean, what are the odds he's in just a cave? Yun Sang's not really the type, I don't think. And it would be very public. Disturb my peace. What are you doing here? Do you have something against drinking and gambling? Do I look like Yonsei? 
Do they look like Yonsang? Yonsang's not here. And why would he be? This is a Hao Society establishment. He's Lu Meng. Well, I guess he may have come around once or twice. Fine, you're right. Yun Seng's here all the time. In fact, he's here now. But I can't just let you see him. Yun Seng's a betting man, and so am I. How about a friendly wager? If you win, I'll let you meet with him. What do you say? What? You're no fun. No fun at all. Well, I can make this not fun. If you don't play along, I'll execute these prisoners I have here. They have all defaulted on loans or owe money to the Howe Society. They're no use to me. Might as well use them in a game. Just a little game of skill. Let me get my pot dog friends out here to help me. Heal, boys! The game is this. You can't find the pot dog I'm pointing out to you again. This one, Wu Tao. Now, they will all change places. They're very quick. Pick the jar you think has Wu Tao in it. But be careful, mistakes are costly. Do you think the warrior will notice? You mean that you had to get a new jar? Quiet! It'll work. Just act natural. different. Wu Tao! I'm sorry. I broke it! Find someone with the same color jar. Let me help! Yay, Let me help! Comes goofy. Right. We can Team do this! Work. Get out of here! Wait, you guys didn't hate it! Sorry, brain, you're too tall! Never trust a pot dog. That was not fair. My pot dogs were clearly not up to the task. I can't believe they've embarrassed me like this. I'm going to fire them all. No more treats for them. But you're right. We had a deal. I will call him for you. Are you sure you want to do this? Really? Because he's the strongest warrior I have ever had the pleasure of working with. If you plan on turning him in, good luck. He won't go quietly. <laughs> Bring Yunsang, the King of Thieves! Be here soon. Are you sure you don't want to run? You think you can come in here and disturb my rest? I'll teach you a lesson. I. Uh, you didn't see that, did you? I, Yun Sang, am the the fire. The fire that burns! Run before I descend upon you! Hey, let's not be hasty now. We can call a truce, right? Um, I'm just a fake. Dokichun hired me. Don't hurt me. I'm not Yang Sang, okay? Get off me! Dokichun paid me to talk and act like him. The real Yang Sang didn't no want to be found. Or any of you. Finally found you, Yang Sang. Show yourself. What? 
Was our information wrong? First the hot dogs, then that idiot Yunseng double, and now Yu Chun? Bring this it on, so Kitchen! Or don't you have the guts? <laughs> Timing could use some work. Intelligence Officer Dosun tells me you pose as one of my assistants to get info out of him. You realize that impersonating an officer amounts to treason? I should slap the irons on you. But I probably would have done the same thing, so I'll let it go. Now who the hell is this? A double? I didn't expect that one. The Hao and Lu Meng must be working together. I'm guessing the Lu Meng paid the Hao to prop this numbskull up and throw us off the trail. Damn! And just when I thought we had Yun Sang in our grasp. I'll follow him to the Dark Realm if I have to. And now I have to go file a report that Yun Sang is still at large. Do you realize how many times I've had to do that? Now why don't you take the Hao's prisoners back to Grand Harvest? We can't just leave them here. Well, we could, but... Nah. I'm scared! Thank I'm getting you. out of here! What the f are you f***ing doing here? You did pull my old bacon out of the fire. I figured I was done for when those how bums snatched me up for not paying protection money. You should have seen me back in my heyday. If I were 30 years younger, I would have kicked the <laughs> out of those f**ks. Anyways, I know you were just looking for Yunsang, but I appreciate the help all the same. I did come across a bit of info in the meantime. Come on back to my inn and we'll talk there. This dank old dungeon isn't doing me any good. <laughs> straight. Don't you dawdle now, dearie. At my age, I might up and die before you get there. Let's get out of here already! You have to tell me twice!
I don't There's care the how hero. much it costs. This stuff is great. What took you so long? You should be ashamed letting a shaky old lady like me beat you here. Since you took so long, I had time to prepare lunch. Go on, have some. It's on the house. <laughs> Ungrateful little <laughs> Try and be <laughs> nice and this is the thanks I get. <laughs> Brat. If you don't <laughs> want it, go serve it to those paying customers instead. Then talk to my waiter. He's the one with your <laughs> precious information. Me oh, too. I'm so hungry, I, I could eat an entire iron ox. Of of spring water. Body. Is it giving us food? I could have it over here. Thank you, warrior. We're so hungry. So you're the one who rescued Granny? Thanks. She may seem a little rough, but she's really got a soft heart. And I know you didn't want food, but if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. You mean the Yes Men boss? Yeah, she left here in a hurry after she overheard a Xeraxi talking about a job. A lot of the Xeraxi are mercenaries. This one had been hired to kidnap young women. It made him so upset he turned it down. Yeah, it was really weird. And when Jewel heard him, she sobered up real quick and left. Hopefully she's gone to go bash the person responsible's head in, and it was probably the Lumang. I've heard they do stuff like that. I think the Yes Men have a base at Rural Outfitters. Rural Outfitters is east of here. Good luck! Yeah.